Hello everyone, let's try to solve this question together. So the echocardiogram obtained from a new net is shown below. The findings are consistent with the holodiastolic flow reversal in the descending aorta. The most likely cause of this would be, pause the slide, take a look. Okay, let's play the video. So here you can see um, the arch of the aorta. Let me try to label it. So this is the arch of the aorta and these are the branches. And uh, on there, keep looking and you guys will see the reversal of the flow. Let me play it again and uh, so that you guys can appreciate. Let's do it. See, you see now? Okay. And then the, uh, the Doppler waveform also shows like here, there's a little bit of diastolic flow there. But again, you see, you know, all these shadows here. Same thing here. Okay, so what do you guys think? What's the right choice? Any clues? Okay, the answer is PDA. Okay, and this is a nice article which describes the relationship between PDA and um, descending out of diastolic flow. And these are the three ways like describe. See, a little bit of diastolic flow here, but then you have no diastolic flow and then the reversal. So it depends upon the grade. So just remember this. And also this is another one which shows how the diastolic flow and this is the systolic flow. And this was the case as shown. And this is an article from a pediatric point of view and it shows um, you know, that um, the different diagnosis whenever you have uh, reversal of diastolic flow. So I hope you all have learned something together today. You guys have a wonderful day, bye.